We're going to solve quadratic equations by the square root method, which is probably the very easiest method for solving quadratic equations. Here's the first equation. It's very easy. x squared equals 16. You know that 16 is a perfect, uh, yeah, it's a perfect square. We're going to use the square root method to solve this little equation. Take the square root of both sides. You take the square root of the quadratic term, the square root of the constant term, and always put a plus or minus in front of the square root of the constant term. That leaves us with the solutions x equals positive or negative 4. That's really all there is to it. Three steps for a basic equation. Now here's one that's a little more complicated. x squared equals 45. 45 is not a perfect square, so we're going to have to simplify it. Again, we take the square root of both sides and remember to put a plus or minus sign in front of the square root of the constant term. Now we factor the constant term, 45. 9 is the largest perfect square term in 45. Since the square root of 9 is 3, 9 comes outside the radical as a 3, giving us the two solutions, x equals plus or minus 3 times the square root of 5. Now for a really complicated problem, what do you do when a binomial is squared like here? We have x plus 3 quantity squared equals negative 24, a negative constant. When we take the square root of both sides, we're going to be taking the square root of a negative number, which means we get kicked smack dab into the complex number system. Taking the square root of x plus 3 squared left us x plus 3 on the left, and on the right we are going to factor negative 24 into negative 4 times 6 because 4 is the largest perfect square factor in 24. Now the negative sign under the radical comes out as an i, and 4 will come out as a 2. Leaving us with x plus 3 equals plus or minus 2i times the square root of 6. Now solve for x. You have to subtract 3 from both sides. Take that negative 3, put it in front of the plus or minus sign. In this way, you have your two solutions, which are complex conjugates. x equals negative 3 plus 2 times the square root of 6, i, and x equals negative 3 minus 2 times the square root of 6, i. Please notice that i is safely outside the radical. This is proper a plus b i form. This video was created using Powtoon slides.